is a talk on hydrocarbons, aldehydes and ketones. Here are some key definitions for hydrocarbons that I'll use in the talk. An alkane is a hydrocarbon without a carbon-carbon double bond. An alkene is a hydrocarbon with a carbon-carbon double bond. Haloalkanes or haloalkenes are alkanes or alkenes with one or more halogen atoms attached. Methane is the simplest hydrocarbon. A cycloalkane is a hydrocarbon with ends joined in a circle. A monomer is a short hydrocarbon used to create long polymers. Petroleum is the main source of hydrocarbons. This is an alkane. I've got pentane here for an example. Alkanes have the general formula CnH2n plus 2. So you can see that I've got five carbon atoms with hydrogen atoms attached all the way around. This is an alkene. It's similar to an alkane, but it has a different general formula. So it has CnH2n, so it's lost two hydrogens. You can see why because I've got a double bond here instead of a single bond, which makes it lose two hydrogens. This is the science behind polymers and monomers. You can see here that I have two ethane monomers that join together to make a butane polymer and a hydrogen atom, but that doesn't really matter for the reaction. It's the polymers and the monomers that we're looking at. The reaction also works inversed. A butane and a hydrogen can break apart into two ethane molecules. Haloalkanes and haloalkenes are alkanes or alkenes with a halogen atom attached to them, at least one. For instance, here. And here. So you can see that I've got a heptane and a heptene, but you can see that I've got chlorines instead of hydrogens on some of the carbons. So that makes this one chloroheptane and that one chloroheptene. This is the fractional distillation of petroleum, also known as crude oil. You can see that when crude oil is heated, it goes up a special chamber and gets fractionated into polymers such as gasoline, naphtha, kerosene, diesel and so on. Aldehydes and ketones are what we're going to look at next. Here are some key definitions. We've got a carbonyl group, which is a carbon to oxygen group, double bond group. A formaldehyde or methanol is the simplest aldehyde. Acetone or ethyl methyl ketone is the simplest ketone. A hydrocarbyl group is a functional hydrocarbon with one hydrogen removed, say pentane. If I take a hydro hydrogen off, it becomes a hydrocarbyl group. Phenyl groups are benzene molecules directly attached to a carbonyl group, whereas benzyl groups or benzyl, benzene molecules attached to a carbonyl, but with a CH2 group in the way. This is an example of an aldehyde. You can see that we have a carbonyl group there, and a hydrocarbyl group going off to there, and a hydrogen on the other side. That's what makes it a aldehyde. It always has at least one hydrogen attached to the carbonyl. Whereas a ketone hasn't got a hydrogen on the other side of the carbonyl. It has just another hydrocarbyl group. That's why it's a ketone. And these two are the simplest aldehydes and ketones. We've got formaldehyde and acetone. I've got two molecules here both containing benzene molecules. You can see here 
that I've got benzene molecules directly attached to the carbonyl, which makes them phenyl groups. Whereas the other one has a phenyl, but the other one has an extra CH2 group in the way, which makes the other benzene molecule a benzyl group. Here's a summary of what we've learnt today. An alkane is a hydrocarbon without a CC double bond. An alkene is a hydrocarbon with a CC double bond. Haloalkanes and haloalkenes are alkanes or alkenes with one or more halogen atoms attached. A monomer is a short hydrocarbon used to create polymers. Petroleum is the source of hydrocarbons. Carbonyl groups are CO double bond groups. Hydrocarbon groups are functional hydrocarbons with one hydrogen removed. Phenyl groups are benzene molecules directly attached to a carbonyl. And benzyl groups are phenyl groups but only with an extra CH2. Thanks so much for watching this talk. I hope to see you in another video. Please do subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And do like this video if you truly do like it. Ring that notification bell in my channel if you want to receive instant notifications of when I upload my video. Thanks very much for watching. I hope to see you in another video. Bye!